Ontario that their lives and their children's lives are worth saving. Raise the rates now! 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 If they increase social assistance rates, this year by 10 percent. It's not going to be adequate. Um, I think there is a risk um, that uh, governments will be able to say, you know, we gave you 3 percent and now we've given you 10 percent and that's it. We're not going to give you any more and that's all we can afford and I think they will use that, or I pre expect that they will use that argument. Well, it's today, no eviction today. 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 Well, some would say we that uh, throwing more. families on the street ought to be unlawful. This tribunal was created to facilitate eviction. The Harris Tories created it. It's massively been successful in facilitating evictions to the point where there's 2,000 evictions a month in Toronto alone. Well, we only evict At if the you same don't pay time. Rent. Yeah, well, you know why you don't pay your rent? It's yeah. probably because your welfare got cut, probably because minimum wage is abysmally low. And you know what? You're not going to evict anybody today. I'm really sorry. Who are we? Oh, God. special diet for people, we were able to increase the amount of money to going to poor families in this province by $40 million over the last year. <laughs> the Liberal government has come in and slashed that policy. Over the next couple of months, virtually everyone is going to lose that money. The vast majority of them are children. The Liberal government has a chance to raise the rates by 40% in the April budget, and we intend to force them to make that decision. So here's a little sample, Pupatello. You think about this good and hard. You think about this now that you're cutting off women, you're cutting off children, you're cutting off people whose only hope to stay off the street is getting that special diet money. Raise the rate is our right to live with dignity. I don't consider myself a third class citizen. I'm like everybody else. And I'm tired and sick of going in that game. And even though I'm in disability, I'm a stand up. Or you allow the, people, the human beings to live decently, or you don't allow them, there's no middle way. And for the government to say that we are doing something about this issue, and providing, like raising it less than 40 percentage, it would mean just people who are still going to live in poverty. Get out there, don't be ashamed, don't be embarrassed to be out there on the street and holding holding you know, a piece of carton and saying, I don't have enough to eat, don't feel embarrassed by your families or your friends. You have to look in your family while your family is suffering. It doesn't matter if they treat you, treat you bad. You have to say, okay, I have to, you know, go there again and again. The money is not going to come very easily. It's very hard, especially because we are fighting against the government, right? It's a right to get the day. Well, it's the right to get the, that money, but they don't want to give the money. There is no way in hell that we're going to give up this struggle. We don't have a choice to give up this struggle, and so that means that we fight harder. Rosedale, home to Toronto's wealthy elite, known for its tree-lined streets and million-dollar homes. The residents of Rosedale meet OCAP. Tonight, we march into Rosedale. We march into the area of the puppeteers of government, quite literally. 
and we march in knowing that every single government that's preceded the Liberals, the Tories, the NDP, all of them have served the interests of people of wealth, like the people who live in Rosedale, regardless of their strength. While some Rosedale residents are brushing this off as a joke, police are taking it seriously. They're warning people who live in the area to park their cars in their garages, lock up their valuables, lock their doors, and stay inside. We would like to tell everybody that we are very angry, very angry with what is happening. Our kids are going hungry, and 2% is just a kickback. It's nothing that the government is giving the kids and everybody on welfare. So. We want to, we will always be here. We will fight them to the last until they hear what we are saying. an effigy of Ontario Premier Dalton McGuinty, but that's as wild as it got tonight. About 150 people turned out for the Ontario Coalition Against Poverty March through Rosedale. They accused the government of helping the rich on the backs of the province's poor. Tonight, we're marching through Rosedale. We're targeting people who are, who are a huge part of the blame for this situation and making it known that they are not invulnerable, that they are targets, and that this situation must change. 